Hello Leos! Welcome to your reading guys. If you're new to my channel, I'm Miss Edie and if you're returning then welcome back my darling Leos. Thank you for all the likes, shares, comments, and subscriptions and I love hearing where you guys are watching from so we're definitely getting right into it. Okay look at this, they're just flying out for you Leo. You are getting your romance angels excited here. Let's see what else is coming out. This one too. Okay thank you. Thank you so much. At the bottom we have an attraction. Look at you looking good, looking sexy, uh, doing your thing. I feel like this is really attracting a lot of people towards you. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So Leo, do what you do and just keep shining. Okay, your first two were chemistry. There is a magnetic and a strong magnetic attraction here. So attraction twice for you. So I feel like your person is feeling very pulled towards you. Again, this like spark that you both kind of hold together is definitely coming through. Love yourself first. So as you're enjoying the moments, you're being in this energy, you're exploring it's kind of sparking some things up with this person but your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive okay attraction attractive three times attracting a lot here maybe you're working with the laws of attraction because i think it's working in your favor <laughs> we do have uh, romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring so there's definitely a beautiful connection here. I feel like, look at this. Uh, I don't know, your person could be in like a blue uniform, blue outfit here could be significant because that's coming through. Maybe your favorite color is blue or theirs is. I'd like to hear from you, but this can just be confirmation. So give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So there's definitely with this divine energy, there's this like need to heal some things too for some of you within yourself, but that comes from like opening up and being vulnerable, okay? Uh, playfulness, to reconnect capture romance allow your inner youthful spirit to have fun and shine so it's almost like the same sort of outfit here too so it's kind of like just enjoy you know don't be you know maybe they have to rush off for something here uh work wise maybe this person's gotta do some stuff it could be someone who's in charge of other people here too a lot of uniforms so for someone they could be you know maybe someone who dresses in a uniform or is of service so thank you so much to everyone who is out there doing amazing things we have children as well your love life is being affected by children so children could be why they gotta run for some of you too it could be your fur babies because we do have puppies and dogs here too so take it how it resonates but this is also part of that fun young youthful energy with that chemistry too you know that could be part of it because it's to bring in babies maybe <laughs> for some of you eternal messages let's see what's coming in for leo what are the messages for my darling leos right off the bat i'm going to take action i'm just planning the approach so they're definitely trying to strategize here it could be being playful giving it a chance you know maybe this person's going to do something very thoughtful let's get a few more messages here for my leos okay that was great one more please <coughs> excuse me leos also, you might be noticing, uh, I think the third, so depending when you're watching this, there's a throat chakra activation. And let me tell you, this person's pouring it out. It's, I'm not used to a connection like this, so I run. So there could be a little bit of that runner chaser energy coming through. We got quite a bit here, so I am going to try to remember how they flew out. So we do have that, I'm planning the approach to take action towards you. You influence me in ways no one ever has. Just wait on me. Please don't give up on me. So there's a very strong impact that you have made on this person or they have on you. Take them how they resonate, okay? I've been feeling your presence around me. A very strong energy between the two of you. You really are the best thing that ever happened to me. They're realizing this. It's about time. <laughs> I am not blind to the signs. I do see them. So there's definitely synchronicities all this beautiful energy that is showing them and kind of reminding them. So maybe the universe or your guides, your ancestors, the angels are also kind of like, you know, hello, do you see the signs leading you, leading you to them and them to you? Okay. I know more than you think. <laughs> it feels like something missing without you around. Wow. That's a beautiful card. I've been expanding my spiritual knowledge, looking into tarot readings or doing other things here too to understand a bit more on a deeper soul level here. I've thought about living together. That's come up. <laughs> I'm reminiscing. I reminisce. I reminisce a lot on the time spent with you. 
So there's definitely a lot of uh, thinking of you. I am always reminded of you because that, you know, you could, they could feel their energy, your energy very strong. And don't focus on who wants me because I want you. So this person really strongly only thinks of you. So the romantic feelings, the chemistry, the playfulness, loving yourself, like all that beautiful energy is really like all their attention is on you, even if there may be other people noticing them. So White Rose Guidance, let's see what the messages are coming through for Leos. That was fast. Let's see what else is wanting to come through for you, please. Leos, what other messages do we have? Thank you. Let's get two more. <clears throat> maybe one more thank you okay we got two more we got an extra so I have no words for your kindness and generosity so you certainly are above the rest you do take really good care of your person um, they do appreciate everything you do for them you turn loose heaven within me. So you bring all that peace, that happiness, that joy, whatever it is that they've been looking for. I am electrified by you. So there's a very strong electricity, like that chemistry, okay? That current, <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna get all science on you here, but there's definitely something really strong happening between the two of you and they feel it too, Leo, don't you worry. Okay, we have, I miss you more than you know. That's coming through here. Give in, give, Whoa, give in, give, give in for my touch, for my taste, and for my lust. Gotta keep it PG, but uh, whoa. <laughs> How can I ever pay you back? And that's to do with your beautiful generosity. I constantly feel you running through my veins. So you are just very strongly because you are my everything. Here we go. You are the answer to my whole life. So this person really feels like everything that they've been through is also leading them to you, but it's also bringing understanding to a lot of things because here they are with you. So let's continue on that journey with the journey of love. Let's see what else is coming through for my beautiful Leos. I'm not going to take it all, but I did see six nostalgic. I love you. So I will take that one because, you know, I feel like there's a lot of reminiscing, a lot of memories that had already come through. So that's sort of that six of cups looking back, having some fond memories. Like maybe you guys have had a lot of beautiful times together. Doesn't always mean an ex, guys. Can just be someone who enjoyed their company. I don't want to take all because there's so much. They're so chatty. Okay, that's good. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take more and I'm not gonna take less. <laughs> so here. Alright, so the nostalgic card, like I said, maybe there's like the lock and a heart here it could be significant for some of you. Denial number 36. I keep telling myself it's not over. So someone may not be ready to let go. Like they still have very strong feelings for you. They still very feel very connected to you, very attracted to you. Take it how it resonates. We do have insecurities. Would you say yes? Number 35. This person could be wanting to give you something, offer you a rose, even. Okay, that's coming through again. Number 10, complete. I just want loyal companionship. So this person could have a dog. You could have a dog. Take it how it resonates. Oh, seduction number 26. I wanted you the moment I saw you. So this person certainly would love to seduce you or perhaps that's what you're kind of waiting for the sensual uh you know sexualness here but i gotta keep it pg so you can figure it out number 32 surrender so you guys dealing with your twin flame ready to follow you anywhere a very strong connection here getting prepared here too you know really bringing this beautiful like you know, there's a bit of a denial here too, but then they're also letting into this, but there's insecurities, but they want that loyalty. So there's, there's a lot of strong energies. We have 34 speechless. I can't find the right words here. So this person could be, of course, trying to write you a letter, trying to write you a message. You know, it's like I start typing it, but then I erase it. Cause like this person just doesn't know how to express what it is that they want to say. But number 33, so it's interesting. They have 32, 33, 34. So that's that. Oh, and 35. Okay. So things are definitely progressing in an upward way that's good I like it um, but with this too it's trust so you're a custom fit and I feel like that's sort of why there's that strong strong energy because it's very mutual and I feel like you're resonating you know how it's like that magnetic attraction where you can like feel the magnets pull each other and then sometimes if it's the other way you can feel them repel okay so I feel like there's such a strong pull but you're both fighting it Ooh, magnetic I like it 
I don't know, I'm gonna <laughs> go in. We went there, so here we go. Let's see, we've got the Crystal Vision Tarot. Let's see what's coming through for my beautiful Leos. What are the messages we have for the person that they are dealing with? What is going on in their connection or with the person they are dealing with? I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the cards and then I'll start. Okay, that's the second time that came out. So we do have the lovers. You guys are definitely dealing with a very strong soulmate connection. Could be Gemini. This is also that beautiful twin flame, possibly mirrored soulmate energy, all sorts of different energies that can come through with this. Your person can also feel like you're the one or they feel like this and with that surrender, it's just kind of like letting in, letting them in, um, you know, really surrendering your feelings, these romantic feelings that you're gonna be exploring, but it does require you know this action here because there's insecurities there's denial there's fighting the the feeling a lot of nostalgia though you have beautiful fond memories with this person <laughs> beautiful. what else do we have for my leos I'll go through them quickly because I don't want to spend that much time. But Six of Pentacles, it is reciprocated. It is someone who wants to give to this just as much as you do. Someone who has a lot of abundance to share. Someone who, of course, is very um, grounded. Earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. But someone who has, you know, what they have, they share with you. Because it's sort of like, I have all this in my garden, but let me pick a basket and we can share this together. So this is definitely someone who is a giver or perhaps that is sort of that reciprocation. Again, a six, a lot of like even beautiful energy energy with that and we do have the seven in reverse so I like that for some of you I think we were going like this and that was a whole chunk at the end. So we'll clarify that after. So we do have, like I said, the lovers. So I feel like for some of you, there are no other options. Normally the seven cups is about confusion, illusion, too many things going on, distractions. Mm -mm, there's no more of that. So I feel like this being in reverse, we don't even have to worry about that. There's clarity that is coming here. There's uh, clearing up the illusions. That is also that Piscean energy. Plus we just had that Virgo new moon. So that is gonna bring a lot of stuff into that beautiful energy. I feel like for some of you, it is definitely going to be uniting you and your person they do see you as their ten of pentacles someone that they want to have everything with forever with this is definitely a very strong beautiful you know like we're growing in this garden like i said like with that beautiful abundant energy and again leading into that more abundance could be that financial security or that stability like i feel like okay take it how it is masculine feminine energy it is a female sitting here but take it how it resonates when you see this person or they see you they see the full package they see this whole tree the castle you, you know, maybe your pets or, you know, maybe a wolf and a deer. I don't know. Maybe a nature person here. Now you're dealing with that earth Virgo Capricorn Taurus, which talks about stability, financial security, abundance, but they see everything with you. That's that long-term connection and really bringing that beautiful, like, you see how like delicate and loving it is, but it's almost like all of the cards that you already have is about like really holding each other and keeping you safe. It's a very protected energy too with the doves here. It's like a divine, like a said with that angels already with that you know give your relationship a chance with the angel wings so i feel like there's a very strong connection here there's a very higher purpose here for the two of you coming together so beautiful long-term connection four of wands is also that union card so if you're dealing with your twin flame strong soulmate take it how it resonates i don't want to overuse the term either but with the four of wands it could be like it was thing like i was thinking about moving in together they're preparing a space for you okay they see you maybe the person has a white car here too you know it's like this night is leading her to this beautiful home, this solid foundation, this new beginning, having this new adventure together, this stability and security. Leo, that can be your energy, could be dealing with another Leo, Sagittarius or an Aries, but the judgment card is here because this decision needs to be made. We have to close out some cycles, but this can also be like, you know, answering the call here, feeling that pull, you know, giving into this too with that, giving it a chance, trying it, just enjoying it and seeing where it goes, but there's a decision that needs to be made calla lilies could be important to someone this can also just speak again more angelic assistance <laughs> like that i do feel like things are going to be picking up really quickly with your person with the eight of wands communication but this to me also in this card signifies momentum because they're running downhill so i feel like it's like things are going to start out and then it's going to take off really fast um again could speak to all that passion that they had running through their veins i feel like it's running and flowing and i gotta 
<laughs> I gotta keep it PG, but you know what I mean. Things are very passionately growing and increasing here. I feel like they're coming towards you very fast if they gotta travel or however this is. Three of Pentacles is about working together. Um, this is about earth energy again, but like, you know, like with that four of wands, they're welcoming you home and then it's like making a home together working on this materially you know working in the space she's making it creatively beautiful or planting with that abundant energy and he's just kind of tending to whatever it is he's doing over here so it's sort of like you work together in this beautiful harmonious way bringing this beautiful like I just I love the vibe between the two of you it feels so natural even for you you're just like oh wow this is really good but it, with the seven of cups in reverse it just feels right sort of what it feels like as opposed to like there's confusion or whatever it just feels so natural it's a very natural energy between the two of you now the three of swords this could have been the past situations could have been past heartbreaks here that you're still healing and letting go of could be some heartaches that you're still kind of tending to could have been a loss could have been dealing with the situation might have also had someone pass away i'm really sorry if that was you or anyone you know um it is a very difficult time here because we're still kind of struggling with whatever this is that we are mourning or grieving in some extent okay but that is also that closure that's coming to this now this can talk about past heartbreaks this can talk about past disappointments doesn't always mean with this person because we're closing it out and having this new cycle with the world card again very significant here judgment world card these are major choices major decisions would you say yes you know that sort of that beautiful abundant energy now travel could be related to your person they might be a world traveler or they could be far from you you too because the eight of wands is like a long distance conversation or there's just some amount of distance between the two of you but there's this beautiful new abundant energy that is also like helping like i said like your connection is very strong very powerful but there's sort of a lot of closure with the world card because it's a cycle it's got a you know this earthly beautiful energy with that page of wands there's definitely this moment where you're kind of like focusing on yourself listening to your own tune here uh, getting into alignment with who you are that's your fire energy too so for some of you, you need to recharge, you need to find your activities that bring your creativ creativity, spark your interests here too, to maybe a little bit of solitude, okay, that's more fire energy, that could be you, Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries, could be Pisces, could be dealing with a separation, or this can be the distance. Now, it is a masculine energy, but doesn't mean anything, but it's someone has kind of needed to see things from a different perspective. This might be also that person needing that enlightenment because he doesn't come down from there until he's ready. Whoa, Ten of Cups though, okay. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Cups. And then we have the Four of Wands. So this is that forever connection. Now, not only is all this happening, but we also have the lovers. So there's a very strong connection. Like they do really see having a family with you they see growing old with you um there's so much love here just so much love this is your wish fulfillment this is everything you could possibly want this person brings it all i feel like this is your end game in like the best way it's like the one you want to spend the rest of your life with when you know Captain America enjoys what he can, right? So it's like having that family, growing old, spending this beautiful energy. Now, of course, the next two weeks could be significant for a lot of this abundance and blessings to come in. That is your wish fulfillment. Could be a child, could be, you know, a family merging or coming together. Of course, that's part of it. Three of Cubs, though, you're definitely going to be celebrating. I feel like you're sitting together with the girls or the boys talking about all the beautiful things that you guys are planning here. This is a very loving, happy card. I'm so grateful for you guys. Again, with the devil card that's part of that toxic energy could be a little bit of temptation too so you know just don't overindulge <laughs> for some of you for others of you that could have been like those other situations maybe in the past that had kind of like tempted you and however this is but there's definitely this toxic nature to something too but it also might also speak to that obsessive kind of seduction energy because you see this little seductress minx over here just trying to like you know tempt you with this apple so there's definitely some kind of seduction here too that this person is either you know tempted by cutting out remember how it said like don't worry about who wants me because I want you so there's definitely some cutting off and letting go and that could be why the seven of cups is in reverse because there's no other options it's you baby they don't even worry about it <laughs> like they'd be silly otherwise anyway so air energy Libra Gemini Aquarius here but then we have the knight of cups coming in and offering that so this could be a message this person could be traveling to come see you but I feel like when that line of communication opens up and that honest expression is happening here because this is the truth okay this definitely 
coming through everything is going to be honest really beautiful with this too like you see all these flowers i feel like they're definitely showing up with some kind of flowers for you because he's got flowers here too even in this one it's offering a rose so this person is definitely wanting to come towards you and bring this beautiful energy like you know i'm going to get her and then i'm bringing her home Ooh, i like that <laughs> they're taking you home i definitely want to start home with you though i feel like with the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles beautiful beautiful cards already leo but let's just clarify with the journey of the soul oracles <clears throat> Oh my God, I don't even know if we need to, but let's get a few more here to clarify what is going on with you and your person. What, whoops. Okay, there's just so many cards. Masks here too. So there's definitely taking off those masks, revealing our full intentions. Also a little bit of that role play. So it could be part of that seduction energy. You guys are pretty kinky. Let me just put it that way. Don't have to say that. But remember how I said that we're waiting for that enlightenment? Well, someone is really getting enlightened to this connection. They're no longer denying it. They're no longer hiding it or fighting it or whatever it may be in this dynamic. No longer needing to be nostalgic about memories of the past or however it is okay really cutting things out oh speaking of memories from the past <laughs> as i'm saying that you guys can have beautiful pictures together and this person can be like looking at them that's part of that nostalgia energy too so maybe they're kind of like looking at all the happy times together of course your person could be a photographer you are or you just like taking pictures of each other could be some seductive pictures too here but we have inner peace gaining that beautiful energy and i feel like for some of you that's part of the enlightenment journey you or your person is experiencing experiencing here coming into harmony coming into peace with each other music could be very significant so focus on beautiful healing vibrational music too as well or songs have very strong connections for you you hear them in music they hear you in music this is soul family but it was upside down we do have a dog here too so of course you know this beautiful group of people here enjoying and celebrating but it is a sacred union darlings so this will lead to marriage this will be someone that you want to spend the rest of your life with um, your person can be, of course, going through the dark night of the soul, which is, you know, that process here too, where we kind of have to self-isolate, go through this kind of difficult time, kind of on our own, face our demons, give ourselves that much needed self-love. This may be also you, but that is that period of enlightenment that you have to endure during that. Now we do have the third eye chakra, so intuition, feeling very guided and pulled towards this, but you already know it's going to be a celebration. You know it's a union, you know it's coming together i told you you are definitely going to be celebrating with your loved ones here because there is so much happiness so much blessing so much abundance and the truth is you can't cut that any other way because these cards are the best and i feel like this person truly does want so much with you and even if i don't take that one and i find the lovers again it's all about you baby i love it they're beautiful love for you very strong connection for you and leos i want to hear about it let me know in the comments how this is relating and what's going on so i'm so excited for you and your person definitely divinely guided to each other there was a major change someone had to let go of a lot of darkness okay so that's sort of part of that loving yourself first that we started with there's a lot of changes that are happening and there's a lot of insecurities that this person is coming out like you know they're expressing and they maybe haven't told you about it before. Leos, don't forget to check the other videos. They might give you more clarity on your current situations. As always, stay safe. Don't forget to hit the like button. God bless, 11 light, and we'll see you really soon. Take care, bye.